the Sienna actually has a bit of an unfair advantage in coherent because we've deployed so much of it. We're at something like over 10 million coherent kilometers deployed at this point. Very close interaction style with our customers. We tend to engage very much engineer to engineer with our customers. And as a result, we get certain insights into how the future might look that we've been able to translate into into ASICs. I think what you're seeing with WaveLogic 3 is the full benefit of all those deployments and all that experience in the field now translated into what's really taking Coherent to the next level. Really, Coherent is all about using very sophisticated electronics, so using these digital signal processors to manage light. Really, with WaveLogic 3, what you're seeing is a pretty fundamental leap in that management of light. First of all, the modulation formats we're able to introduce are even more sophisticated than in previous generations of technology, and that means basically greater capacity. And one of the things that's very different about WaveLogic 3 compared to all the other coherent implementations in the industry is that we use digital signal processing both on the receive side and on the transmit side. As WaveLogic 3 is operating in a network, the transmitter and receiver are talking to one another in real time, sending information back and forth about the quality of the fiber going between them. And an operator can use that information to track over time. They may, may find a particular fiber is, is seeing degraded performance over time because of something that's happening in the network. Our software allows them to take advantage of this information and avoid outages that they might have otherwise seen um, in a more disruptive way. Sienna's got three new things in WaveLogic 3 that are really important. The first is, uh, really first in the industry, transmitter digital signal processor. And this has some really important implications in terms of the performance and also the capacity that we can drive through, um, through an optical network. The second thing that's new about WaveLogic 3 is the soft decision forward error correction. And SoftVec is important for a couple reasons. First of all, it provides improved performance, and that gives us obviously greater reach. That's very relevant for both subsea and ultra long haul applications. The second reason SoftVec is interesting is that Sienna's implementation is very programmable. And that means the system can make trade offs between latency and capacity and reach, basically turning down the SoftVec algorithm when lower latency is desired and you don't need quite as much reach on a link. The third thing that's new with with Sienna's new WaveLogic chipset is a completely redesigned receiver. So the digital signal processor in the receiver does 75 trillion operations per second. This is six times more than we've had in the past. So this gives us really good performance on older fiber and in high PMD environments. So we see WaveLogic 3 as, as helping drive increased capacity into subsea networks, long haul networks, greater performance across the long haul, but also we're gonna use it to cram lots and lots of bandwidth through the metro at very low cost. So in my opinion, the, the smartest coherent engineers on the planet are working for Sienna up in Ottawa. We've had the opportunity to share WaveLogic 3, obviously under wraps with, with many of our customers. And I'm really happy that now Sienna is able to share WaveLogic 3 and, and what's so impressive about it with the world. <laughs>